or uh, that's not why. I don't know who he is. I'm happy for Sakurai. That's what Sakurai really wanted. He chose him for himself. Like he wasn't like everyone asking about these, you know, the one this character in. He was inspired. He said he was inspired by King of Fighters to make Smash. So it's just really nice that you know, Sakurai gets his thing. It's his game. He works so hard. Yeah, like it's how the DLC is. Like one for um, everyone, which is Joker. One for America. One for Japan. Or one, one for, for America, America, which is uh, Banjo. One for Japan, which is Hero. And then now we get one for Sakurai and uh, Mexico, I guess. Mm -hmm. So being being the the longtime veteran of these two, at least since Ultimate came out, you've been watching a lot of sets. What makes you think is in ZD's mind when he chooses Wolf over Fox? Because um, he changes it a lot. Honestly, he wants to get more for less. When he feels like he can get a strong read in there and like not do as much to set it up, he'll play Wolf yeah. just to blow people up. I see that. It's like he just needs to get a slight opening and get a lot instead of having to go all out. And this is just looking like that. It just seems like he's got many of these slight openings, and he has indeed went all out every time. Yep. Already at 112, the next time he at 41. Holy. Is a cra it's so crazy watching Z's energy because he's so like ready to pop off at any time. You never know what he has in store. Mm -hmm. And he does weird stuff. Yeah, every now weird and stuff again. stuff is cool. Keeps you on your toes. And Seagull Joe's looking completely off pace right now. Yeah, it's not. It's the, the, the Seagull Joe game plan. It's. He didn't get the start. He didn't get to like turn it on yet. He's just trying to play catch up the whole time. And ZD's still moving forward. Yeah, another stock drop. Okay, but the down throw back here is going to set up for an edge guard attempt. That was really crazy. I kind of wish that worked because it was so intuitive. Yeah, he thought an air dodge was going to come out. But not quite going to work. But ZD always denies these um, down tilts pretty far away, so no true punish was there. But the ledge pressure from Seagull Joe was looking immaculate for just a second. One thing I've been liking a lot more from Paulus lately, they've been using this uh, up tilt to anti-air. Wasn't that much in the beginning of Ultimate, but I see people flipping it out now. It's mm -hmm. nice to see. Yeah. I mean, as soon as I saw that move, I was like, wait, if it kills now, there's no reason that it's not at least situational. Yeah, it. and it lingers, so it's like, if you think they're going to air dodge, like, you're not going to miss time it. That's exactly why. The move's, like, huge and pretty strong. Speaking of huge and pretty strong, Explosive Flame, living up to the name. Pretty huge, pretty strong. Yeah, for sure. Oh, barely missing that back air. Hits like a truck. That definitely would have been the stock. Uh, we see a lot of nares here. ZD ready to run in and grab afterwards. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It as soon as he did that get up attack, I think even Seagull knew. It was like, yeah, yeah. I, I messed up. Seagull's so smart, but like he didn't get time. He just didn't get the time to like really figure out what was going down. Yep. But luckily, it's best of three, so still got some time. And also, something that came up in the chat. Um, Neo Geo was the most expensive console way back in the day, but the cabinets were relatively cheap and easy to maintain. And that's why, like, the running joke is, like, Mexico loves KOF. That's because they bought, like, a bunch of the cabinets. They were easy to, like, maintain and upgrade. And so they just played KOF for, like, the longest time. Yeah. Longer than anywhere else. Knowledge bomb. Now you'll know. Yeah. Have some respect for Terry. Yeah. But understand the lore. Lore, lore is interesting. You got to know. Speaking of lore, um, Wait, lore requires knowing what's hello? happening, and I don't know what's happening. So I was game. randomly walking. Well, I wasn't like randomly walking, but I was walking. And I randomly saw Sigurdjo playing this character, and I was like, hey, he's probably just playing friendly." So I'm just walking that by, and then we see him whipped out here, already doing him way better. Uh, Seagull is just such a good fundamental character. He can just switch up and play these characters like this. We see his Pikachu coming out, quite handy out of nowhere. Yeah, and now Banjo. <laughs> so I play Banjo sometimes, and that's definitely when you try to be reverse the down B. That's what I was about to say, yeah. That's the only... I was like that, or like try to be reverse like the Kazooie pop count. I don't know yeah. why, but like those are the only two inputs that would make sense. Honestly, hard read it out of nowhere. I feel like Z doesn't play Misery and Banjos, because he just doesn't seem like the person who like, let's grind the Banjo, you know what I mean? Well, also, there's not a lot of them. Yeah. When it came out, they're everywhere. That's every time the yeah. DLC comes out. The yeah, Joker stuck around. Cause they're good. Yeah. But, like, there's always going to be, like, you know, a bunch of new Banjo Mains. Like, I've been waiting for this character forever. And, like, if the character's not good... I was going to ask if that was going to kill. I should have known. I should have known. It was so far to the right. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of digging this. It was kinda so far to the right. This. I know that um, character vote for anyway. And I really like... Give me a laugh. Oh, my laugh. God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, we actually saw an anti-air. The Banjo did an uh, up to anti-air. I don't see that that much from Banjo because the move only hits in the air. So he was very certain about... That one working out. Yeah, it has. It's a move that looks like it should hit in front of him, like snakes. People say they wanted to, but it would actually be broken because it if would. you down throw, then you won't even have to do the mix up of the up smash. It's just you up tilt and it was a hit, whether they get out or not. It'd be so good. Yeah, wouldn't be broken. 
The mix-ups. I love out. seeing Banjo's mix up their, their land recovery. So many options, especially because if you, even if you do get hit, you get to mix it up again. This is actually a treat. Um, this is definitely some, some high-level Banjo play I haven't been able to see for a long time. But I didn't know I needed, but now I know. Let's Seagull Joe Banjo, you saw it here first. Yeah. And the words of Seagull Joe, my Banjo is nice. He didn't say that yet, but if he did... But those words have been uttered. Well. If they have, yeah, they have been uttered, they will be uttered. He thought them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm a mind laughs> the thought exists. And um, very close, although we've seen... Um, oh my god. Something I really like about uh, Seagull's Banjo is he has really good edge guarding. Like, we always talk about how Wolf and Fox can be edge guarded, but not many characters can really get it down. But like Banjo doesn't have to commit. He can just do down tilts. He can do the, the bombs, especially the Breagle, Breagle egg. Yeah. That move is cool. That's a really good edge guarding tool. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely underutilized. That oh, was nice insane. read. He was so smart. That was only the second time he did it. He knew that it was going to come. I was wondering why he uh, up through earlier, and now I can see why. Man with the plan. Okay, two up airs starting to come out. The move doesn't do much damage, but it's starting to add up. It just looking a little knowledge. bit lost. He doesn't have a jump. And oh forward smash. Gosh. That will be Knowledge it. bomb, because I wanted to main banjo for a little bit. That move hits the lowest out of any of these moves, so um, not every move two frames every character. Or, yeah, yeah, not every move can two frame every character have different like wedge grabs, mm -hmm. but that's the only move that hits every single character. Yeah. Like even it's, it's even lower than down angle forward tilt, down tilt. That move hits low. And plus it was Wolf Flash, so um, like he doesn't automatically snap ledge. So he would be able to like pick it up with that, but that was the perfect um, hit that connected right there. Banjo, dude, Seagull's Banjo got some, got some juice. Like he got, he did the up air condi up throw conditioning for the forward smash. He got the two frame, like, I don't know how many tricks are gonna work considering ZDS seen a few now, but I just feel like, I feel like Seagull's thriving right now on these little niche situations that he has a game plan for, and it might just take the set. It just might, because ZD opts to run it right back to Town and City. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's kind of a safe uh, bet, because if you don't know how or which characters or which stages Banjo really looks for, you might as well just go with what you're comfortable with. Yeah. And he knows it's good for Wolf, so he's fine. But I just don't know how far the Bag of Tricks truly goes. Like, has ZD seed at all, or is there much more? These anti-airs with up tilt are really, really uh, pixel perfect. I love them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of tricks, we haven't seen him hit a Wonder Wing yet until now. I was here. Yeah. And even though that one didn't kill, it puts the thought in ZD's head. And that is, it's kind of like a worse witch time in a way. Because yeah. once um, the thought's in your head, it, it shapes the entire game plan. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh no. That's so unfortunate. Oh, my God. Sometimes you get him and sometimes you get got, and ZD got got by a couple pixels. I feel like ZD's band is amazing. If he could just get some more grenade conversions, he would just be running away with the set. His neutral is amazing, and he just has all these small little tricks. But that's kind of been the pace of the set so far. Whenever Seagull gets the first kill, ZD is at least 10 seconds behind him. Mm -hmm. Or at most 10 seconds behind I mean, it's still Seagull. He still played his poly. He still has some of the same habits. Just a really quirky character. Oh, he's dead. That sucks. No, the SD was so much more unfortunate. Yeah. Because that was, I mean, that sucks that a lot of miles left in. He was at like, what, 60? He was like 57, yeah. Yeah. But it's not over till it's over. Uh -oh. Nice. And the two free. Uh -oh. Does that hit a buff banjo at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it hits, uh, like, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a Lucina forward smash, kind of. Okay. Not like direct, a lot of vertical, but a good amount of horizontal in the air. So gotcha. it would have covered an air dodge as well. Yeah, and now ZD is really teeing off, walking it in. The um, Desperation Wonder Wing starting to come out. And some simple chip damage has been happening. Wow, that was really good. Uh, covered the roll. But uh, ZD's hit, or Seagull's hit himself a lot with the this set. And this is now not the time to do that. He says three Wonder Wings left. Well, back throw kill? I, no, but I think he's going to try and hit him with the Diva. The big old, I would have went for the Wolf. It might him. kill now. Yeah. Oh, still no. I want to see him try and edge guard with the... Uh, the Breagle Blast, that was nice. Even at this percent? Like, if it hits him, it'll gimp him. Like, it has a, it doesn't, it, like, it doesn't send them far, but it has a lot of hits done, so if they get hit, they fall. And then they won't be able to make it back. But he's, he, he knows what he's doing. This yeah. is Seagull Joe. His banjo is nice. Uh, was. It was. It, it was, was still it was nice. nice. It, was it, was, nice. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah. I'm not wrong. It's just. It's just past sense now, because yeah. now it's in Lucifer. 